We got a group piece. So coming up to the mic right now. Give it up for Eyeless and Layla. Check, check. tonight, especially for the ladies who know men ain't shit. All right. Are y'all ready for this piece tonight? <laughs> Can you check yours make sure everybody hears you? I think, yeah. Yeah, I did. I said my name. I'm going to stand back a little bit. Are y'all ready? I'm not going to stand back a little bit. You go call Yeah. Me. Yeah. Ready? All right. No, wait. We know you guys are probably tired of the men ain't shit poems. However, we promise you that we are much more tired of being treated this way than you are of hearing it. Hey girl. Hey. Uh oh. At this point, I just feel like I'm along for the ride. Like I'm a side piece, or maybe like I'm an option. Or like his bitch. Yeah. Do you ever just feel like you can't breathe? Well, Like the I... weight of his wavering commitment is suffocating me with every, maybe, I don't know, we'll see where this goes. Like why? Why can't they just give it to us straight? Yes. Like, like this collar I so proudly put around my neck bedazzled and jeweled with self-love and respect. But in the hand of a predator wrapped around his wrist, he is hanging me on every last word and suddenly I choke. We all know, deep down, what we deserve. Our collars belong to us. Our badges of honor, our only owner. With a name tagged blank until someone comes around and engraves their name on that little silver plate. He is clever, comes with treats. Good morning, beautiful. What have you had to eat? I wish I was there with you. You are so perfect. Taking me on trips. Buying me shit. Showering me with kisses. Rub it up and down my back. And when we fall for it, he says, Who's a good girl? <laughs> and with the wag of my tail, there is suddenly a leash attached to me and it leads to his hand. Women, you see, we are trained for disappointment. You pull on my leash and I come because I know if I don't, the treats will stop. We take the scraps of your promises, scraps of your love. Scraps? scraps. What, happened what happened to, to my, my companion? companion? Your scent is the only one I recognize. Your lap is my favorite seat. I prefer to sleep with you than to be on my own, yet you still treated me like I belonged to the foot of your bed. Oh. What, am I just a fucking pet to you? Play with me when you want to. But then when I beg for more, you put me in your fuck buddy box, crate, kennel, or, or whatever, whatever the, the fuck, fuck you want to call it. I've been in here for hours. Or is it days, months of this talking stage, whimpering and waiting for you to let me out. Let me out. Ugh. 
Now I'm the bitch in this situation because you pulled on my leash. But this time around, this bitch finally chose to put her foot down, set some boundaries, because clearly you don't understand that a heart is not a toy. Drop it! Who's a good boy? How's it feel to be the bitch now? I would have understood if you didn't want to be with me, but if that's the case, why'd you keep feeding me treats? Why was your hand wrapped so tight around my leash? Why was your lap the only that was allowed to be my seat? I'm not a bitch. More importantly, I'm, I'm not your bitch. bitch. You've made that perfectly clear. So have fun. Walking around the block with an empty leash. Trying to catch another bitch from the streets. Cause I've released myself from you. I've learned a new trick or two. Escape from the doghouse. And I am finally starting to feel like a woman again. I was never meant to be your emotional support animal. That love comes from being your equal. Not your bitch. You say you're a good guy. But my collar is worn out from all of this tugging. My self-respect falling to the ground from each tug that it takes to feel closer to you. Little, Little did you, you know that, that last tug was, was the, the one that, that freed me. me. Yeah, girl, you get it. Girl, man, ain't shit. I've been told you. <laughs> I don't know how I keep getting caught in these cycles. Just don't get caught begging for their attention. They love when you do that. Poem. <laughs> So on Instagram, if you want to follow me, I'm Rich Auntie Slay. It's no special like characters. It's not spelled a funny way. Auntie with an IE at the end, Rich Auntie Slay. If you want stickers, I'm selling stickers with my logo on it. And I also have business cards in the back if you didn't get my Instagram right away. So you can find me roaming around throughout the show. All right, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Eile Cribs, um, E-I-L-I-E-C-R-I-B-B-S about it. That's all I got. <laughs>